Hello, this is Sean Knotts with West Virginia Land and Home Realty. I'm standing here in Bluffs on the Potomac at lot 198. Um, this lot's been on the market for a little while and we just uh, had a price reduction to 99.5. Um, I'm standing here on top of Middle Ridge, which is the mountain that pretty much makes up the majority of the bluffs. And this is the front of the lot right here. This is a subdivision road. And as you can see, there's power here, power pole right there. Uh, nice views in the distance of the mountains. Uh, I'm just gonna pan around here a little bit. This is kind of looking down onto the lot. Um, as you pan around here, there's a newer cabin that's being built right there. And then the road goes up around the bend here. I don't know if you can make it out, but right over there, there's a pink ribbon in the tree. That's the front right property corner. I'm going to walk around here a little bit. So this lot is very long and deep. It's uh, fairly narrow, but plenty of width here to be able to build, you know, a nice cabin down here in the woods. And it lays pretty good. You know, a lot of these lots in here are you know that have the big long range mountain views are really steep you might have an acre or two up front uh, to build on and then it drops off pretty steep in the back this lot doesn't really have a tremendous amount of steepness to it so you know you're getting a pretty good bang for your buck you're you know going to be able to get 20 acres here that you can get around on pretty easily you know if you wanted to ride your four wheelers or side by sides you could easily do that be a great property to hunt on um, and you kind of have to have a little bit of a vision here because the higher up here you stay to the uh, subdivision road, the more potential views you would have off in the distance. And you can kind of see through the trees here off in that direction, which we're facing east here. Um, with some clearing of some trees behind the house, you could probably open up a little bit of a view there. I'm just going to walk down in the woods here a little bit, show you around. Hopefully I can do this without stumbling around too bad. Um, so the Bluffs on the Potomac is a subdivision that's about 6,000 acres. It was developed back in the early 2000s. Um, there's 258 20-acre parcels in the subdivision. Out of those lots, there's, I don't know, maybe 50 or 60 that actually have homes built on them. Some of them are primary residences, but Probably the bulk of them are more, you know, vacation type homes, weekend getaway spots. Um, a lot of people like to retire here, uh, have their spot out here in the mountains to get away from it all. Um, so as you can see, I mean, it, it's just a nice, nice little gradually sloping lot from the subdivision road back here. Um, there is kind of a nice little bench down here that would get you back off the subdivision road a little ways to have a a nice build spot that would be tucked back here in the woods a little bit and uh wouldn't be too far to get a driveway in here for your power and infrastructure costs would be pretty reasonable here it's not like you have to build a you know mile long driveway or anything to get back to a, a good spot to build try to get back here onto this little flat <clears throat> just kind of taking a little walk in the woods here with you for a little bit uh, sometimes I know it's hard to get out here to check it out on your own hopefully this will help and pique your interest and, and maybe it'll be worthwhile trip for you um, coming up here I think is a nice little spot duck under here a little bit so there is kind of like this old logging road here and I don't know if you can kind of make it out in the in the video but it kind of winds down through the property but so as you can see there's a, a nice little flat here you know I just walked back in from the subdivision road maybe oh I don't know it's right up here at the top of the, the ridge you know probably 75 to 80 yards off the road um, so you could get down here onto this nice little flat have yourself a nice spot to build and then uh, maybe clear some trees out down here below you and open up this view a little bit 
you can see here at this point it starts to drop off a little bit steeper um, but then it's kind of just a gradual oh there goes a deer I just saw a tail going down through the woods there I don't know if you can if you caught that or not but uh yeah so you know as far as uh, a usable buildable lot here in the bluffs um, you know it, this one's this one's definitely got those features going for it uh, there's some more deer running there there's quite a few of them and there they go I don't know if you can see them they're going down through the woods but um, I swear I didn't have them tied up here. That that's just that's what you see up here in the bluffs a lot. It's it's a it's a haven for wildlife. Um, you know you you've got a community access here to the river, uh, which is nice. The south branch of the Potomac River is down at the bottom of the hill here in the bluffs. You have your own private community access to the south branch there, um, and uh, that's a really nice feature also for these uh, these property owners here in the bluffs. So if you want to make a trip out and check it out for yourself, just give me a call. I'd be happy to show it to you. Thanks. Keenan Shan Holtz here, West Virginia Land and Home Realty. Uh, I just figured it was kind of time to maybe make, make a, a new video here at the Bluffs Common Area um, for the Bluffs on the Potomac. And I'm going to zoom in here. You can see some ducks floating around there. But... Uh, so um this is a common area for the bluffs here on the south branch of the potomac river uh i'm standing on the steps here that go down into the into the river here and uh as i'm taking this video the river is up right now um it's probably up two or three feet from where it should be uh you know in the summertime you're going to be able to walk across the river here and probably not be in over your chest so it's a good place to come down here hang out swim fish you know just kind of hang out um as you can see there's a picnic table there there's a little concrete bridge where you come across to get over here to the river and there's some picnic pavilions over there uh going up that hollow and then going up the bigger hollow there there's the big pavilion um where they have you know community meetings and whatnot and uh there's also um, dumpsters down here. Um, well, a dumpster. Uh, that's one thing about the Bluffs. Um, there's all electronic gates in here now for the community, except for the common area here on the river, which you need a key for. But uh, the Bluffs does provide trash service, which is very uncommon for communities around here. They have dumpsters at different gates and stuff like that for you to, uh, particularly if you're a weekender, that's really handy. Uh, so you don't have to haul your trash home with you when you leave. But uh, what a great spot this is down here. I mean, the Bluffs, uh, one thing that the Bluffs has that most of these big 20-acre lot communities ha doesn't have is the common access to the river here. And, uh, you know, going upriver this way, the river flows to the north, so we're looking back to the south now. Uh, when you go uh, south from here, about two and a half miles, there's a public access point at Hanging Rock. That's a good, you know, couple hour trip down to the Bluffs Common area here. Uh, above, uh, well, south of that is the bridge in Romney, which that's the all day trip uh, down here to the Bluffs, which is probably about seven miles uh, from the bridge in Romney down river to here. And then from where I'm at, uh, down river, you can go to Blue Beach Bridge, which is probably about three miles. So, um, you know, that's kind of what uh, the common access does here to the river comparative to other communities. I mean, it kind of makes it a four-season retreat. So if you're coming up here in the summertime, it's not hunting season or anything like that, you can come down here to the river, hang out, fish, you know, put in, take out, canoe, kayak, swim, you know, just cool off, bring your dog down here to get in the water. It's just a fantastic feature. Uh, that the Bluffs has that uh, no place else really does. It's worth a visit.